So we're going to start to show you how we go about making a cosmetic prosthetic. And we're going to start from a scan of a actual hand. So first you want to open up Mesh Mixer. Once you're into Mesh Mixer, you want to import your scan. So I'm going to import and just replace this scan that I currently have with this Bill Raw Hand Scan. This is the scan that I got out straight from my occipital structure uh, sensor. You notice it's kind of hollow on the inside. So the first thing we want to do is we can actually kind of close up uh, some of this and, and um, make it unhollow. We want to make it solid. So I'm going to go to Edit, and I'm going to go to Make Solid. It's going to kind of give you a fast version, and it's going to kind of solidify all of this. Uh, and that looks fine for now, for the moment. And we can just accept that, and now we have a solid model. So now I want to work with this, and I'm going to actually orient it so that it's sitting straight up and down like it would on my printer when I actually print it. So I want to rotate this around. So I click on Transform, and I can use these different parts of this uh, tool window that kind of pops up to, to move it in different ways. So I can rotate this by clicking this kind of arch and kind of rotate it around so I'm kind of sitting straight up and down. And you notice some of it goes beneath this little um, uh, plane that I have. You can think of that as the build plate of your printer. So anything that's not on that is uh, we're going to cut off uh, and kind of try to get rid of. So I can use these arrows to move it in whatever direction I want. So I'm going to move it up so it's a little bit above my build plate. My other arrows I can kind of move it around and you can see you can move it uh, in any axis that you want. So I'm just getting it kind of in a rough, uh, straight up and down kind of positioning, and I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Now our next step is going to be to start cleaning up this scan a little bit. We need to actually fix this up. And you notice, unless you're really good with your scanner or really lucky with your scanner, I have a very nice one, you, for fingers, you're probably going to get some kind of uh, webbing type of uh, appearance in there where it kind of melds the two fingers together towards the uh, towards the knuckles. So we need to clean that out. And we're going to do that using a specific process. Uh, it's going to be a couple steps, but it's actually pretty pretty easy to do. So we're going to zoom in nice and close, and I want to clean out pretty much all of this, and just kind of get rid of it. So to do that, I'm going to go over to Select, and I'm, that's going to give me a brush. Now you can change the size of your brush. I can make my brush bigger. I can make my brush smaller. And we want a brush size so that we can kind of get in between the middle of these. So that's about the right size. It looks like about 20 for my particular scan. And I'm going to use this, and I'm going to hold down my mouse button. I'm going to click, and I'm going to see that it highlights pieces. And I can hold down my mouse button, and I'm just kind of dragging around. And I'm going to select out the space that I want to delete, that I want to get rid of. All of the space that looks like it's uh, kind of causing a webbing type of look in my fingers. You can select out a little bit more than you would uh, normally want to do. Because we, can, we can fill some of this back in later. I'm holding down my mo right mouse button to kind of zoom around, to kind of pan. I'm going to start selecting more of this webbing that I see that I don't actually want. My right mouse button to kind of pan around again. And I'm going to select the opposite side of this, this finger. This kind of finger webbing type look. Okay. Now that's probably pretty good probably gotten rid of a little bit more webbing than I want to towards the bottom. So I can probably want to get rid of a little bit more of the webbing up top. It's going to highlight that. I can hold down the control button and click on some of this. Maybe I was a little bit too aggressive with some of this webbing down here, so I don't want to get rid of some of those. So that'll unhighlight if you hold down the control button. I get rid of some of that. And I can look around, I can kind of pan around, and I can see what I'm getting rid of. And then once I'm happy that I've kind of highlighted all the webbing that I want to get rid of, I can go up to Edit. What we want to do is go to Discard. And that's going to get rid of that. 
and you see that there's space in the middle there. Okay. Now I want to actually join this hand back together, but I want to join it back together so that the fingers don't have the webbing in the middle and I kind of just make a bridge between this portion of the palm and the uh, kind of back portion of the palm. So to do that, I'm going to select my two portions. I'm going to make sure that I select uh, pieces that are going to be parallel to each other so they can jump right across. I'm going to highlight kind of that a little bit, just a kind of horizontal section. And I'm going to join together and kind of highlight a horizontal section that's directly opposite of that. So I have a little horizontal piece on the uh, palm and, and the back of my hand. And once I do that, I can go up to Edit, and I'm going to go down to Bridge. And that's going to join that back together. And now I can see that my fingers, uh, that webbing is kind of gone, but I still have some holes. I need to fix those holes. So I'm going to accept this little bridge that I've done. And to clear those holes up, to fill those back in, I can go to Analysis. I'm going to go to Inspector. And you should see two little balls pop up. They might be blue, they might be red. That kind of means uh, two slightly different things. Uh, we don't need to worry about the details so much. But we do just kind of need to fix these holes. You want to make sure that they're both uh, two different uh, kind of balls that are floating around, pointing to two different areas. And if you look close, so we can zoom in with our mouse scroll button, you can see that the two areas that it's kind of pointing to, the two little blue balls, are two areas where there's holes inside of your uh, mesh, inside of your scan. Now we made those holes, but we're going to close them back up by doing a flat fill. And I'm going to do auto repair all. And I'm going to go done. And if I look around and I zoom around to this, I can see that I've now gotten rid of that webbing. And what you want to do, you want to go through and do that process for all the fingers that you need to get rid of webbing between. So I'm going to go and I'm going to do that for these two fingers and then uh, I'll, I'll be right back with uh, what to do next. So one thing to show you is I cleared out my space between uh, my next two fingers. I can see that I have my two little blue areas. I have my little bridge that I've created. Uh, and I'm going to go to my inspector under my analysis. When I do that, you'll notice I don't have one blue circle. I have a red circle. But it's kind of highlighting these two areas. So these two areas are, are uh, the red circle means they're kind of non-manifold, so this isn't closed off. And what I can do they can auto repair through mesh mixer when I click to auto repair it's closing up both of those it didn't recognize them as two holes because uh, I believe this bridge was probably just a little too thin uh, so it kind of joined those two holes together as one and fixed them on one fell swoop so just wanted to come back and uh, point that out that you, you might get red circles you might get blue circles as we did over uh, when we first started um, the important part is when you clean things up and you repair those holes that you get your two individual fingers kind of separated with that space kind of in the middle. Be right back uh, after we clean out uh, between this last uh, set of fingers. Okay, so now I've got my fingers cleared out. I've got rid of that kind of webbing type of look. Now I need to do some molding to kind of make these fingers look a little more natural, right? I don't want completely straight, flat areas here kind of want to sculpt things. So I'm going to come over here to Mesh Mixer and the Sculpt command. And I have all these different brushes that I can use. The one I'm going to start with is probably the most useful brush that I've found in my experience. I'm going to start with this one that says Robust Smooth. And increase the size a little bit. Kind of decrease the strength uh, for this particular part. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on one of those areas that was cleaned, you see these kind of sharp, jagged points? I kind of want to smooth those out, so I want to get rid of those. So anywhere where there's sharpness, I'm just going to click 
to kind of smooth it out. And I can kind of click between the fingers and kind of bring up that sharp joint, that sharpness, into a nice, much more smooth cutoff. And I'm going to do that all around this whole finger. And we can see I'm getting a much more natural kind of flow for this uh, finger now. So I had kind of a kind of weird looking look, kind of jagged, but by using this robust smooth, I'm able to get rid of that, kind of get rid of that weird look and give it something that looks a lot more natural. So that kind of looks a lot more like a, a regular finger might. And I'm going to do that around all the places that I just repaired. So I'm going to do that right here. If you notice that your uh, smoothing is moving too quick, it's too big, you can decrease either the strength uh, and or the uh, size of your smoothing. So I find that this, uh, this size of about 38-ish, about 40-ish, and a uh, strength of about 65 seems to work pretty good for, for my sculpting needs for, for this part. Just trying to get rid of all of the little jagged points. And what I can do is if I want the smoothing to continue, I can just click once and that smooths it just a little bit. Or I can hold down and I can see that the smoothing is going to continue as I hold down and drag around. So I kind of have that nice smooth transition. Now it looks like an actual finger. Maybe I want to bring this up a little bit so I can click and hold down my button to bring up that arch a little bit more. I want to get it nice and smooth on both sides so I have a nice natural kind of looking transition for those fingers. And then let's do it for our last finger. Again, just getting rid of all the jagged edges where I repaired holes and kind of making them smooth themselves out, giving a more organic experience, a more organic kind of look to these fingers. So we've taken our scan and we've kind of gotten rid of all the webbing that we had, kind of tried to make things look a bit more natural than they did otherwise. And now it just turns to kind of doing sculpting and in our next video we'll kind of show you more about how we can sculpt this to make it look a little bit more natural uh, and kind of get some definition and some kind of features in here to make it look a little bit more like a real hand and then how to kind of hollow it out and make it more printable so that it uh, can be a functional cosmetic prosthetic.